everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to talk about the most iconic figures in Malaysian music industry Sharul Eka Matra If you are a fan of rock music, you probably know him as one of the best guitarists in the country. But do you know anything about him? Stick around and let's find out together. Shahrul Ekamatra was born on June 12, 1972 in Batu Pahat, a small town in Johor. He grew up in Kota Tinggi where he discovered his love for music. Coming from a family of artists, he was exposed to various art of forms including music from a young age. His talent for playing a guitar was evident from the start and he began to hone his skills by practicing every day. In the 1980s, Sharul joined a local band called Eka Matra. The band consisted of Sharul on lead guitar, his brother Nurul on rhythm guitar, Eddie on keyboard, Pachai on bass, Rashid on drum, and Rahmat on vocal. They started playing in small gigs and competitions around Johor and soon gained a following. In 1996, they won the Juara Rock Johor competition, which was a major breakthrough for them. They followed this up with another win at the Juara Rock Johor Tengah competition in 1988. These victories established Ekamatra as one of the top rock band in the region. Saya pun masuklah pertandingan Juara Rock tu. Uh, waktu tu bersama dengan kumpulan Damon Head. Uh, masa tu Ekamatra uh, tak ada lagi sebab tu Ekamatra bukan nama Ekamatra. Masa tu nama nama adalah Damon Head. Jadi saya pun uh, kita orang pun masuk uh, pertandingan Jual Rock Johor tu dan kebetulan pula jadi Jual Rock Johor so lepas tu terus lah dapat uh, apa, tawaran dari syarikat rakaman dan terus lah saya pergi ke KL ni untuk rakaman Syahrul amazed the Malaysian music industry with his exceptional guitar skills especially in the song Pusara di Lebuh Raya. Shahrul's playing established him as one of the best guitarists in Malaysia, standing alongside other renowned guitarists, Salchez, Keith Search, Mankidal, Along Exist, Shah Slam, and Joe Wings. Mankidal, a renowned Malaysian guitarist, praised Ekamatra's music and composition. He also expressed his admiration for Shahrul guitar playing, which he found very moving and mature despite Shahrul's young age, 16 years old, when he first began playing with Ekamatra. Untuk saya, saya uh, Ekamatra uh, personally, like, lagu memang selalu ini bagus, tapi saya memang bagi saya terpanjat. Maksudnya saya amatlah macam terpanjat bila dengar pemain gitar tu. Bagi saya Shahrul, uh, Pernah bagi saya satu kejutan yang saya rasa uh, sungguh menyentuh hati saya. Lagu-lagu hmm. lagu lagu dah bagus tapi bila uh, melodi gitar tu saya, saya rasa amatlah uh, dewasa. Walaupun zaman tu dia hanya nambah tahun. By the way, if you want a full subtitle, press the option button on your top right corner, select captions, press auto translate and choose your preferred language. That's it. Let's continue. Thank you. 
Shahrul and Ekamatra continued to release successful albums throughout the 1990s. Some of their most popular songs include Pusara di Lebuh Raya and Sentuhan Kecundang. Shahrul's guitar work on these songs and many others cemented his status as one of the best guitarists in Malaysia. He inspired a generation of musicians and helped to shape the sound of Malaysian rock music. Just look at this young guitarist who loved to play Shahrul's guitar solo, Sentuhan Kecundang. That's the story of Shahrul Ekamatra. He is a true legend in the Malaysian music industry and his legacy lives on through his music. If you haven't heard Ekamatra's songs before, I highly recommend checking them out. They are a testament to the power of music to inspire and move people. And now for the bonus, let's play the solo of Sentuhan Kecundang. 